Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to walk you through calculating uh, speed. Um, when we talk about speed, you guys have seen this in your lives quite a bit. Um, think of every speed limit sign you've ever seen, uh, miles per hour. Um, if you are a fan of track and field, you measure it in meters per second. Um, so we're going to talk about what, what our three variables here are, because we are going to be doing some math and science class. But I promise you, this is math that you learned in fourth grade. So we're going to talk about a couple different variables. The first variable we're going to talk about is distance. And uh, we are going to use a capital D for distance. Um, in science, we measure using metric units, so you're going to usually see this measured in meters or centimeters or kilometers if it's a large distance. Um, over the course of this e-learning, because of the materials we have at hand, we may be using more inches and feet than we like to, even though we don't usually use those in science. Um, we, the, that's just the reality of what we've got. Uh, so we've got distance and we also have the variable t which is time. Uh, in science the majority of the time we are measuring time uh, we are using seconds. Um, you could also use minutes, hours, uh, when it comes to speed you often see it as kilometers or meter or uh, kilometers or miles per hour. Um, meters per second, uh, those are the kinds of measurements we see. And so then lastly is going to, S is going to be speed. Uh, and so the way we calculate this speed, when you think about a uh, speed limit sign, it is miles per hour. And if you think back to math class, when you hear the word per, we're talking about division. So speed is going to be equal to the distance divided by the time. Uh, this, is, this is the equation we're going to work with. Um, we're going to be dealing with calculating average speed, so that is just going to be the total distance covered divided by how long it took to go that far. Um, so that's what we've got. One uh, way of remembering this is uh, using a triangle, and I'm going to show you that in a moment. So uh, the triangle that we're going to show you is like this. And it's an easy way to remember how to use this equation. Now, um, in the future, we are going to give you problems where you are going to have to calculate, for example, uh, the amount of time it takes to go a certain distance at a certain speed, or uh, the distance that was covered going at a certain speed in a certain amount of time. Um, so you could use our math facts and do opposite operations and you know solve for distance by multiplying both sides by time. Uh, you could solve for time by multiplying both sides by time and then dividing by distance. So you can rearrange this equation in a whole bunch of different ways. But one way that I found that's really good to work on this is this triangle here. So if you're trying to solve for something, for example, if we are solving for distance, you cover up the speed, or sorry, you're, we're, we're solving for speed. So you would cover up the s and you've got distance over time, distance divided by time. If you want to find out the distance you're going, you cover that up, and now you've got speed and time next to each other, so you're going to do speed times time. And, and you can see that here, if we want to know the distance, we have to multiply time to get it out. All right. And then lastly, if we want to know how long it took, what the time is, you take the distance and you divide it by the speed. So this triangle is just a really easy little shortcut on knowing what you need to do in order to solve for the different variables. Um, or you could just go the eighth grade math route and do solving single equations. All right. So let's flip things over and I'm going to just go through two example problems with you. Uh, the first one is, uh, if it takes Reagan 25 seconds to skate from the blue line to the blue line and the distance is 50 feet, what is her average speed? So if you're not a hockey fan, uh, the blue lines are painted on the ice. Reagan is Miss Raleigh's daughter who plays uh, hockey with um, the uh, up in Rockford. All right, so um, looking at our equation, we've got a couple things. We've got a time here 
and we have a distance. Our time is measured in seconds, our distance is measured in feet, and what we want to know, we want to know average speed. And so like I said, average speed, the way we calculate that is just total distance divided by total time. Um, this is a little different than instantaneous speed, which is more complex to calculate, and we are not going to be doing that at all in eighth grade uh, science. All right, so we know that speed is, it's a good habit to write our equations, speed is distance divided by time. So 50 feet, that's my distance. 25 seconds is my time, so I substitute those into the equation. We've got 50 over 25. So you calculate that out, and 50 divided by 25 is 2. And we need to keep in mind our units. We have feet over seconds, so that's feet per second. If you don't have those units involved, it is wrong. Um, in science, we need to be precise and we need to know what units we're dealing with. We've talked about this in class before about uh, the Mars probe that was lost because it crashed into the planet because the programming used metric and the hardware used imperial, so inches and feet. So we don't want those kind of problems to happen, so we always want to label our units. Okay, so two feet per second. And it also makes sense because if we're if we don't have units i mean two could be anything two feet per minute that's a snail's pace two uh, kilometers per second well now you're talking ridiculously fast you're talking faster than a speeding bullet so um you know knowing the units really is important and paying attention to the scale of the units remember an inch is like that much a foot is almost the width of the, or a little more than the width of the paper. A mile is a whole long distance. Um, meters, a meter is about a yard, so it's about three feet, roughly. Um, a, a centimeter is, you know, a small little measurement, okay? So think about those scales um, when, you, when we're doing these problems. All right, so let's look at our bottom problem here. We've got Mr. Halloran. And he is racing his Silverado down Lincoln Highway for 3,250 meters in 60 seconds. What is his average speed? So again, we've got a distance and we've got a time. So what is the average speed? Speed is equal to distance divided by time. Speed is equal to 3,250 over... 60 seconds and when you type that in you get that the speed is equal to 54.16 repeating so we're just going to round it off to 17. Um, when you do these calculations guys not all of them are going to be perfect decimals so go ahead and just round them to the hundredth place so that's the second decimal place um, that's as precise as we need to be for eighth grade science uh, and you notice that I need to do one more thing in order for my answer to be complete. I need to use my units. So we have meters and we have seconds. So you have meters per second. Okay, um, and that's how you use the speed equation to calculate speed. It is distance divided by time. Meters per second, miles per hour, feet per second, uh, that kind of an idea. All right, so you're going to be using this equation speed is equal to distance divided by time all of the practice problems today are going to be this exact equation speed equals distance over time you're calculating the average speed for everything uh, moving forward we will be asking you to calculate time and distance uh, and that's a time when using the triangle would help remember you're just going to cover up what you're trying to solve for and you just do the operation that you see so we want to solve for speed so it's distance over time, distance divided by time. Okay, uh, that's it. I hope to uh, hope you guys are having a great day, and I uh, hope to see you all again soon.